Stakeholders in the agricultural sector are calling on government to immediately lift the ban on grain exports due to their own growing dry spells in the northern parts of the country. This request follows the government's intention to lift the ban if the dry spell improves by November this year. The stakeholders argue that a proposed measure may not be effective, pointing to the government's ongoing struggle to combat illegal mining, known as Galamse, which is yet to produce significant results. Here's more. The export ban enforced last week was a direct response to alarming reports of decreased grain yields in the northern regions of the country. These shortfalls are largely attributed to an unusual dry spell affecting crop production, raising concerns about food security and potential inflationary pressures on grain prices. The Peasant Farmers Association of Ghana reacting to the planned reversal of the ban in November 2024 instead of January 2025 called for an immediate suspension of the ban. Here is the national president of the association, Awal Adugwala. So for us, we have always been against the ban. And then government talking about the fact that by November, if things should normalize, it to be lifted. For us, it doesn't make a difference. We want that there should be an immediate lifting of the ban and there should be immediate engagement with all key stakeholders as to what measures properly uh, uh, we can implement together. Because now government is requesting for this about 500 million garnets for the intervention. We need to have a stakeholder a meeting. We need to have proper engagement. We need to know the modality. We need to know the data that we are working with. And all this is very, very important to us. So for us, whether the ban is lifted next month or in November, it doesn't make a difference. We are calling for an immediate suspension of that ban. The immediate past General Secretary of the General Agricultural Workers Union, Edward Kariwe, believes the ban will not achieve the desired results. He cited the government's ongoing struggle against illegal mining activities, which he described as unsuccessful. The ban should be suspended, but the support to farmers should continue. As with the ban, that one should be suspended, but the support to farmers should continue. Farmers need input. Farmers need some uh, other forms of support like cash out and the rest. We should concentrate on that and make sure that every person that is allocated for this purpose gets to uh, the targeted area. That's all about it. But as for the ban, it should be suspended. Because it will not be effective, and yet it is going to create cost for us. Because we have had previous bans, they have never been effective. They have never been effective. This is not a, uh, something new. And the mere fact that you say you are going to use the military does not guarantee any uh, success. We use the, uh, the military to try to stop Galamse. Did we succeed? 